You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. When behaviors become automated, some might call it a habit. Might it not be termed also a ritual? So today, anyway, um, I'm going to talk about the ritual of life and, um, and just take you on a nice journey. It is the ritual and relentless monotony of life that leads to the various crises. And without these crises, how could I have gotten through almost 55 years on earth? You see, it's no wonder that I'm bored with church, bored with Lagos, bored with people, and certainly numb regarding Nigeria's lack of progress. It's the same old thing every day for over 20,000 days. But curiously, I'm not bored of my children or architecture. I wonder why. Now, I believe everyone else is bored as well. And because the idle mind is the devil's workshop, it is not surprising that we tend to resort to bad deeds to enliven our, enliven our experience. Boredom is rife in Nigeria, so we turn to lives of vice. Boredom correlates with bad, not good. Active lives result in good thoughts. Should we eschew corruption and sin in exchange for hard work and good deeds, there'd be a lot more smiles and a lot more good. It's almost medicinal. You will never find what you want in monotony. Ritual kills life. That's why no one likes school, Sunday service, meal times. It is, to change, it is time to change how we live. And the COVID break has shown us how we could have been living all this time. Cool down the pace of life, vary the days and weeks. You see, we need people who can inject fun into life. For instance, we had a short-lived experience in school in Wari, Nigeria, in the 1970s, when a new physics teacher came to teach us. His name was Mr. Nwa Dike. He drove a very nice Volvo, told us he should be known as Big Brother. He had a rough afro and claimed he had only just come back from Texas. He said he was rich and was only teaching for fun, the lucky sword. He absented himself a lot from class. Any lesson he managed to make was great. So one day, I wrote a letter to the principal and asked my classmates to sign. It was a petition against Big Brother. Some refused to sign, especially those in the Christian Union Society. Anyhow, the letter was written and Big Brother was removed. And physics went back to being consistent but dull. I actually felt something of an anticlimax when he was gone, like I personally sacked him. So you see, I understand why men of yore had many wives. It was to kill boredom. Thank you. Uh, sorry, the director says I should off the mic, so it's okay. <laughs> Honorable Chuka, <please. laughs> off your mic. Yeah, off I'm Jerry. <laughs> That's enough, <laughs> please. Which guy, which guy? <laughs> Why? Um, but, really, okay. oh, wow. but really, uh, I, I have had a lot. Uh, just last week, a friend of mine, um, Kunle, said he was bored of uh, sitting down in Lagos, so he just needed to go somewhere. And um, so don't mind me, oh, mm. I create a lot of activities around me. Yeah. Even right from COVID lockdown, I had palliative committee. <laughs> I would jog every morning just to create activities, just, you know. And like they say, variety is the spice of life. Mm. And then in, the, in these times, there are a lot of people who are actually bored. Mm. And so that's why, for me, I try to take out, you know, time to reach out to one or two persons, you know, every day. Just put a smile on somebody's face. Um, whether we like it or not, I agree with you. Sometimes... Men of your, you know, <laughs> they get married for to avoid boredom, whether we take it or not. That's why even young men of these days they keep one at home and have other ones outside. <laughs> so but when, that said, when quickly, what we should do? Like when the children are bored, no, children quickly, no, but quickly, no, but really, but really, I don't. That's not the area. That's not the area I want to dwell on. Just saying. Yes, but to on on this. So lastly, I also you know, agree completely that now that with what the experience that COVID has taught us, we should also learn that most of these things that we do, you know, through um, being monotonous, we can do them in other ways by adding fun. I had a lecturer who taught me um, civil procedure using pidgin English mm -hmm. in the university. And most of the things he taught me are the things I remember today. The ones he taught with good English, I can barely yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I mean, uh, did you want to say something, Rookie? 
before I chopped, I jumped. Yes, well, I, we know Chuka and I went to the same secondary school, let this worry. <laughs> and when he talked about a teacher that I removed, I remember one teacher that they brought as a youth service, a youth copper teacher. Her name was Mr. K. Chuku. I don't know if you remember how Chuka. She had <laughs> one fair lady with very tight pencil skirts. And everybody wanted to do chemistry as a result of yes. this fine lady. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, it's very true. Whoever is talking about any subject can make it interesting. And people actually will learn the subject as a result. Mm. And life doesn't have to be monotonous, as you said. And you really do not need to marry more than one person Thank to you. be having a very interesting <laughs> marital life at home. Okay, I'm a physician. Well, we teach a lot of me. things. Bottom the line, mic is off. The mic is off. Same style. <laughs> Don't keep doing the same thing every day. Change it up. You understand? Sometimes you go outside, you know, take a walk in the garden, be a little bit more romantic. I'm sure you people Which know what I'm going with that. Down the road. Which garden? This COVID lockdown has created a lot of opportunity for families to bond. For example, Ruka and me, I'm never in one place for a long time because of my various commitments as a Nigerian politician, as a physician and whatnot. And so this lockdown has closed borders. And um, I am stuck here with my family. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've had a better time than, than now my, my blood pressure is down. Wow, anyway, excellent. over to you. Yeah. Do you want to? I mean, I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask about boredom because my life is anything but boring. So <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 30, so I have that privilege over everybody oh, on this panel. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, that's what you think. He thinks well, yeah. For now, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, even with COVID, you know, I still died. And by virtue of the work that I do, mm -hmm. so I'm always here, there, and everywhere. I'm divorced as well, so that helps. Mm -hmm. That I don't have, you know, I have obviously. So you are uh, one of those that Chuka is talking about. Looking for <laughs> pastor. You marry one, you divorce. You marry another one, you divorce. Well, hopefully not, one. but you know. No, but, okay. Let me look at it from another, another perspective. Because listening to Chuka's um, uh, advocacy, <laughs> I, I was thinking that yes, in a way, I sympathise with his observation that people get bored. And I was thinking, why do people get bored? It, it could be also because God designed us to be productive, you know, be fruitful and multiply. So when you're not productive and you're not seeing yourself going along a certain trajectory, you can feel a bit stuck in the mud. Some people get depressed. Some people then internalize their frustration and start to do either abuse alcohol or vices, like you call them. It can even be but, productive, can be bored. Or be fruitful and multiply. No, but you know, no, <laughs> yes, when I'm coming, but what I'm trying to say is, on the other hand, but when it, because I'm not saying that monotony can be, it can be underestimated, because I, I value people who are con constant. I, I love, I have a lot of respect for people who are come rain, come shine, come boredom, they just stay, they're able to discipline themselves to continue to deliver, you know, whether it's a job, whether it's, so for example, I want to big up my husband, you know, I was looking back at some pictures where like 20 something years married, and want to, looking back at pictures, and I'm like, 13 years ago, and I'm, this guy was there, we went through some very difficult times, but he was there like a, a stalwart. Being the daddy figure, gingering, because at times I was so discouraged. But I could see from those videos, yeah, thank God, God, God use the he word, gingered God. me. <laughs> and I was frustrated. I was facing real challenges, not even boredom. You know, real proper psychological pressure. But he was there. He was a solid guy. He was a brick. And the same way, so I had to appreciate him, do my own Father's Day yesterday. Because I said to myself, that is what I want in my life. People around me, so I try to be like that for others. Because people I value in my life are people who are consistent. Whether come rain, come shine, they're there for you. you know? So I try to do that for others, Follow to help to them charge. also. Because for me, how you handle boredom is what dis differentiates the boys from the men. If you do boredom and you start imploding and looking for second wives, you're still a child. <laughs> no, no, I can <laughs> but I can you, can, I, you can firm I up can a that's, muscular that's, up, no, I can that's then not you're the my issue. man. Being, being consistent also, consistently productive can be bored. Well, there you have it. As long as there's life, there'll be advocacy. So let's not tire of either in the interest of a better society. Continue to advocate with us on social media platforms, Facebook plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, also called plus TV Africa. So, till next time, same channel. Let's keep advocating for a better society. One conversation, one action at a time. Bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Rookie, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. See you all. I miss being in the studio. Yeah, I know. I yes, Once you go lifts, just jump on that. Don't worry, airplane. don't worry. I'm, I'm arranging a PJ for you. Five panelists. 
Five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.